Welcome to Let's Play Murdered Soul Suspect. This is another blind playthrough, meaning I have never played this game before. I've never seen it played. I do not have a single idea what I'm in for. All I know is the theme of the game is playing as a detective who is murdered and then somehow having to solve the case from the grave. So that's kind of neat as a concept. I'm assuming that's our main character on the left already. Judging from the bullet wounds that appear to be emanating some kind of soul glow or something. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. If there is very much narration, I'm not going to talk over it. But if it wants me to read, I will read to you. Salem, Massachusetts. Present day. A serial killer is terrorizing the normally sleepy this streets of Salem. This of a bell has been left at the scene of several murders Leading over the past police refer to the murderer weeks. as the bell killer. We spoke with a public relations officer. Authorities are asking anyone with any leads to contact this the SPD's anonymous tip line. This picture of a bell, the calling part the police have yet to attach no any meaning or significance to, to has become follow. synonymous and with no the hysteria surrounding his murders. You're saying there are no leads? No leads at all? Hmm, okay, I'm willing to bet this bell guy is going to be the case we're working. You grow up on the streets. You start thinking you're invincible. So that's our protagonist, right? Or maybe just a narrator. Nothing can touch you. You never really lose. Nope, it's the protagonist for sure. Go to arrest some freak? Find out you aren't as invincible as you thought. What kind of name is Ronan? That kid stole my wallet! Time to make it official. Ah, it hurts! You steal my car, you pay the price. Ah. Ooh, ouch, that looked painful. At least it gave him a cool tattoo idea, I guess. Jeez, okay. I guess our guy was quite the little oh, delinquent, no wasn't he? You're under arrest for the assault and battery, Vincent Coulter. Guilty on two counts of grand theft auto. On the indictment of burglary. Grand larceny and assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Let me take it. Oh, cute. He got himself a girlfriend. I guess this is the part where he turns his whole life around, right? I can't have my sister marrying some bum. Right? They do. Hell yeah, I do. No. No, Julian. Stay with me, you hear me? Julia. No, stay with me! Stay with me! Your family wore felonies like badges of honor. Now you think this new badge covers all that up? You're a fucking criminal. You need to slow down, man. All right? This is crazy. I didn't know better. So you actually want to die. Turn around. You're under arrest. <gasps> Okay, I guess we start the game here, though. I don't feel good about this. We're obviously still alive because we're not shot to death yet, but we're gonna get shot to death. He's not moving so good. Ooh. Ronan, no. No, you should not be up and moving. I do not want to push you too hard, my guy. I mean, he's gonna die. He has to die for the story to progress. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. Okay, E to open. Damn it. 
Whoa, what is this? Open, use WASD to reach for the door. I actually have to reach for the door? A little to the right. There you go. The knob ain't even moving, it's stuck. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Scared me to death. Why would you close the door? No. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not making it out of this, are we? Oh man, I have to do the thing again to touch my face. Reach. Touch. Whoa. I'm still alive. I can fix this. I just Get back in my body then Oh dude, no. Oh I'll, I'll wake up. Don't get your hopes up. Oh wait a minute, what? Okay, so I have to align the body parts a little over more. Yeah. Okay, and the arms as well. Get in there, bud. Yes. Oh, and the face. Okay. It's it's alright. Lay back down. Just kind of lay down. Yeah, there you go, Ronan. There you go. Just like that. Right? Is that it? Oh! Oh, it's not working. Someone had to hear that glass shatter. I know! The old lady heard it for sure. Oh, no. No! Oh, this is rough. No. Yikes. That looks more painful than the gunshots. Oh, poor Ronan. Everything around is going ghost too. That is so weird. What is going on? Get back! Get back here! Don't worry, Ronan, you'll get him. Oh, this doesn't look good. New objective, head towards the light. Uh, I don't know that I want to do that. Ronan. Hello? I mean, if we're supposed to be avenging ourselves, shouldn't we stay where we are? Look at all these ghosts. They like disappear when I get close to them. Oh, weird. Oh, there's somebody there. Is that the voice? Is that Julia? Hello? Ronan? Hi, Julia. I can't believe I found you. Oh my god. Julia. I thought I'd never see you again. You look good. <laughs> I look better. Give anything to be there with you. For us to be together again, but... But what? No. Oh, no, no, not again. Not you. If you're not here, where are you? It's the other side of the bridge. Bridge? What, what bridge? Where you are is a prison. Or a bridge. It all depends on how you see it. Either way, where you are isn't safe. Do you hear me? We need to get you across the bridge. You need to move on. Move on? Is that where you are? Don't worry about me. Something about your life isn't finished yet. 
We don't have much time. Think. What about your life feels unresolved? Being murdered? To figure that out. Now go. No. Julia, you left me once and it destroyed me. Please, please don't leave me again. We'll see each other again, love. Just save yourself. No, no, no Julia! Don't leave me, Julia! Damn it! Hello? There's a man in the street outside the Regal Apartments bleeding. He's been shot. Send an ambulance. He's not breathing. My friend says he's not breathing. I can't feel a pulse. There's broken glass everywhere and, and a lot oh, of blood. Man. This is bad. Yeah, I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Oh, I'm supposed to try and speak with this guy. Hello, sir? Hey, man. Can you hear me? Obviously not. Okay, now we're going to try the woman. Maybe she is a ghost whisperer. Lady, please. Damn it. Whoa. Hey, you. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, right. This is Salem, little witch girl. Let's find the little... Ooh. There's stockades there. Hello, little ghost girl. Whoa, what is going on? So, the ghost stuff is ghost stuff, right? Oh, I've almost got you. I've almost got you. I'm gonna get you. Yes, I am. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, space is not climb of any kind. Okay, I see how it's going. I get it. I see the gimmick. Hey, why did you run? It gets old. Giving counsel to the new ones. Don't take it personal. Running through walls, making things appear... You you look like you've been here a while. You must know how this place works, then. <laughs> works? This place isn't hard to understand. Figure out your gifts, and maybe you won't get trapped here. What does that mean? Whoa, this is a weird dialogue menu. Okay, we can ask... What do you want to know? What do you mean by gifts, or how did I get trapped here? I mean, I think it's fairly obvious that we got trapped here. I thought you had some questions for me. I do. Is this timed? Do I have to hurry? I kind of like talking about my choices, but if we need Don't to hurry, ask me anything. I'll go ahead and ask how I got trapped here. Though it is pretty obvious that it's because we have unresolved What's trauma. So long? Cat got your tongue? Okay. Who are you? Looks like you've been here a while. Me? I'm just someone like you. But hear me when I say this is no playground. You can rob yourself of your future, or others can do it for you. And I'm assuming she's saying that because she's a witch, or she was a witch, so she was killed? What do you want to know? Right? What do you mean by gifts? What do you mean gifts? Your strengths in life are stronger in death. They become powers here. Some power is unique, some common. Possession, influencing people. Manipulating the more fragile of ghostly objects to appear or disappear. Strengths become abilities. Huh. Okay, so what are our guys' strengths? Why can I pass through everything? I thought you had some questions for me. I do! Why can I pass through sure, everything? just hit me, but I'm passing through other stuff. What is it with this place? I thought I'd be able to walk through everything. We can't enter the buildings the people of Salem have consecrated. Save through an opening. An open drawer, or a window. But once inside, walls and doors hold no power over That us. was a crazy audio glitch there. You'll know the ghostly objects we can't pass through by their blue glow. It will all seem logical in due time. How could I rob my own future? That's a good question. Because she said, rob yourself or others will rob you. So what is that supposed to mean, girl? Uh, I, I'm 
sorry, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. How could I rob my own future? You're here to resolve something. You don't resolve it, you don't leave. Don't worry, that's pretty common. Common? That's crazy. So what did she not resolve, I wonder? New clue. Ooh, okay. What's taking so long? Cat got your tongue? Obviously. What do you mean others can steal my future? Demons. They were once like us but lost themselves. They can never move on now. And exist only to consume those lingering here. Those like us. I getcha. Okay. Demon threat. So... I need to figure out who killed me and stop him. That's the way I can get out of here. Obviously. Well, best of luck to you. Wait, 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 wait. There's more I need to know. Ooh. Oh, shit. Hey, it's the demons. We just learned about them. Run, girl. Out there. You never know what's waiting around the corner. Although I guess she's fine. Weird. I mean, she's been fine for hundreds of years, I guess. Fine, despite the fact she can't move on. Okay, so tab is information. The clues menu. All clues discovered during investigations are logged here. Check back frequently to recall information about clues and the investigation where you found them. The guy who gunned me down in cold blood. Is he my unfinished business? Most likely. He's also probably the bell killer because we heard about that at the beginning of the intro. Okay. So we viewed unfinished business. Let's view the demon threat. If I am not careful, a demon can consume me. That's less than ideal and being trapped. Maybe? Yeah? 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 This one? Why is it not viewing? Okay, ghost abilities? Huh, I can't seem to select these. Maybe there's nothing further to view. Okay. And that is four out of four for Ghost Girl. What are side cases? Can I look at side cases yet? I do not believe I can. What do Q and E do? Nothing yet because we haven't discovered more clues. All right. I would like to go back. Escape is not taking me back. Why? Oh no. Tab is not taking me back. That's maybe very bad. I did a little bit of searching online and apparently this is a known bug. I could not find a fix for it so we're just going to have to be careful with the clues menu because occasionally it will lock up and you cannot leave and you have to force close the game and restart from the last checkpoint. So I'm going to try again to view these. If I do not resolve what I have left undone, I could be trapped here forever, right? Seems obvious. That's kind of kind of the whole theme, isn't it? Ghost abilities. My skills in life become abilities in death. Some are common and some are unique to me. All right, let's hope that this menu closes. Okay, and it did. That's super good. Super good. We need to return to the scene of our murder, presumably to look for more clues. But I kind of want to look around this weird ghost area more first. Ooh, I can go up the slide? Not really. Not really. And since space is zoom, to look around in first person, I don't know if we even have jumping or other movement abilities. I'm assuming this demon... Threshold is not something we want to mess with, so I'm going to leave it alone. And we're just going to go back. Going to go all the way back to the scene of the murder. What is going on in here, though? Oh, there's like a teddy bear in there. That's a little bit cute. Not particularly useful. Whoa, what was that? Was that a ghost? Maybe? Who knows anymore? Everything's a ghost. Whoa, look at them. <gasps> ah, 
Wait, they're not ghosts. That's just ghost texture on the wall for some reason. Pass through. A ghost can pass through real world objects. Do I want to enter town or do I want to go back? Let's go back. But this is the way we came from, isn't it? So we do need to enter the town. Yeah, okay, enter town, sure. First, Salem Bank. Seeing your own body lying on the street. It's like looking in a mirror you don't want to see but can't turn away from. And that's when you realize you no longer know which one's real and which is the reflection. You know, I'm not really sure why I felt the need to read you that building's signage in the middle of a crime investigation when it's fairly clear that that bank has nothing to do with this murder. This guy's a serial killer, not a bank robber. <sighs> yeah, no. The whole people walking through you thing is not something I would enjoy if I were a ghost. Great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Did he really just pick up our hat and put it on? Back up. Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. Yeah, you flicked that ghost <laughs> cigarette at him. He deserves it. Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. That's so rude. I do not think I like Baxter very much. <clears throat> Sir? <clears throat> Ooh. Hey, 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 Baxter, hey. Hey, just get back to taking them statements. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. Yeah, you tell him, honey. Look, this is not your scene, Lieutenant. Just pay your specs and move on, please. Yeah, maybe it's not my scene, but it is my case. Tomorrow it'll be my case, and the next day, until we catch him. You do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. You know the procedure when a family member is... Yeah, well... Take all the time you need, I'll take I lost count of the times I wished you were dead. Do me a favor, con man. Tell Julie I miss her. She knows, Rex. She knows. I need to find my killer's trail before it goes cold. Ooh. Find the killer's trail. I need to investigate everything I can here to see if I can learn anything new. I need to get my eyes on Stuart's notepad, see what they've learned. So did you that should be easy. Yes. I saw him. He killed that man in the street. I oh, see. Look at all these people. Let's go get them. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if they found any leads that I don't already know about. Need to find a lead here. Okay. Solve investigation. To solve an investigation, you must first search for clues by inspecting suspicious objects and interacting with relevant people by using the possess ability. Possess ability, huh? Clues here have got to tell me something. Okay, and now it's telling me about zooming in the camera. Should I do that first? To look at the scene? Maybe? No, not yet? All right, let's instead try to look at... Stanley was his name, right? Let's possess him. Let's peek. Here we go. Peeking through the eyes of the living allows you to further the investigation by selecting the most relevant information you can find. So we have forensics to Rex, tenants missing, Cassandra and Joy. There are missing tenants. Must be who lived in that apartment that I was thrown from. What's the most relevant information? I mean, the fact that the tenants are missing, right? No, we need more information about our murderer. Okay, how about the only weapons found at the scene belong to us? 
So they haven't found any other weapons on the scene. He killed me with my own gun because he didn't have a weapon of his own. I mean, if he had had a weapon of his own, he probably would have used that on you instead of throwing you from the window, right? And it looks like there's one more thing I can learn. Can I peek again? No? No more peeking? Okay. Dispossess, I guess. Wait, what if I possess him again? Aha! No, no more peeking. Okay. Well, getting the info to Rex is not really anything we need to know about. I don't know what to do. I mean, this, why does this always happen to me? All I wanted was to go home and get a nice dinner and... Hey, you okay? I don't even know. Why am I even here thinking about this? I should just go home and get into bed under the covers. And... Let's possess the guy talking to her. Maybe we can ask some questions. You, you just stop talking. I, oh, and is that blood? I can't even imagine. What about his family? Let's mind read her. Be patient with her. She's upset. Oh, we're mind reading him. Dealing with scenes like this. Okay, that doesn't really tell us anything useful. If I could just get her to calm down, let her memory do its work. Maybe I can look at her memory. Okay. Be patient with her. We've already heard this one. She's upset. She's not used to dealing with scenes like this. Okay. All right, let's check her out instead. What about influence? Ooh. What would make her tell who she really saw? The killer's weapons. Will that help? The killer used my own weapons to kill me. Why didn't he bring his own weapons? I don't know, but maybe selecting this will open something up with her. I don't have the right clues to answer this yet. Oh, okay. Lame. Dispossess. Let's listen to these guys, maybe? Can I eavesdrop, or should I possess? Eavesdrop. What a night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. Ronan. Unbelievable. I don't get it. What was he even doing here? Asking for it. A witness called in saying he saw the bell killer into a building. Ronan responds. Disregards orders for backup. Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings. And then, bam, 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 bam. You really Seven to the chest. You really point have, blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> Ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, you live like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I kind of hate Baxter. He's not exactly the kind of person I enjoy. Oh, influence. Your ability to correctly influence a person is dependent on the clues you find in an investigation. Hopefully we can find all the clues here. There are eight. Let's try possessing the other guy. Anything? Nah, nothing. Ooh, what about these guys? What's going on here? Okay. Possess? The killer wouldn't come back to the scene, would he? Really? You're just worried about yourself right now? That's valid, though. I cannot be mad. That is a perfectly acceptable way to feel. Glad I wasn't here when it was happening. So is that. And you? Can I take pictures with my phone? Is that legal? Ew, why would you want to? Hmm. What about this fellow? Hello. Looks like the boys are doing everything we can do. Really? Is that the deepest thought you have? This whole thing is just weird. All of us cops just getting nowhere. Looks like the boys are doing everything we can do. Yeah, you sure are, aren't you? I want that ghost girl to come back. I want to talk to her more. Okay. Jeez, Ronan. I can't even turn around to look. Oh, this guy must have been our friend. Sorry, buddy. Just stay calm. People need the cops to be calm now. Poor guy. That's that's awful. This is all just so out of control. I mean, yeah. How are we supposed to stay calm when they can't even protect their own? That's a little bit harsh, don't you think? I mean, she doesn't even know the whole situation, but then again, neither do I. <laughs> okay, and you, sir? I'm not a cop. Hard to believe that's a dead body right there. 
Hmm. Oh, the news people. I bet they don't have anything interesting at all. Why are cops so tight-lipped? Don't they know publicity will help them? I mean, it might not. Why do I have to get these little town beats? Can't wait till I get assigned to Boston. Salem's not really a little town. I wouldn't say so. Amazing. It's like she hits a switch and she's on. I don't know. Her mouth is not moving with her words. I could never do what she does. <laughs> the cameraman is a bit cute. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting somewhere. Oh, Can't okay. Stop now. All right. Cannot go far away. That's fine. Well, I can walk right through these. That's right. I'm a ghost. So, let's inspect the clues on the ground. There's my cigarette. The last cigarette. Ooh, is that actually a clue? I'm not going to open that menu yet, though, because that menu's cursed, and I don't want to break my game. My backup gun. That shot me to death, unfortunately. Here's the glass. In pieces. And... Killed by my own bullets, obviously. And my body, finally. Overkill. Yeah, he just emptied the whole clip into you, I would say. There's one more clue. Now that we have those clues, maybe we can get this girl to offer more information. What do you think? Influence. Which of these would influence her the most? Maybe the bell killer? I came here because a witness called in to report a possible sighting of the bell killer at this location. Which is the most relevant clue? That might be pretty relevant to her. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I saw it. That man in the hood. Outside. Uh, looking up at, at the... Top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. The killer's destination. Okay. Is that all we can get out of her? That's all the clues! So I can conclude the investigation now. It was quite strange how her face texture took a moment to load in. I'm not really a big fan of that. Not really a big fan of that. This game seems a little wonky so far, but I'm still interested in it. Conclude the investigation. The killer came here for a reason. I need to find a lead here. Oh. There must have some clues. It must. So that's my way in. That's closed. Fantastic. Until someone opens it. Here's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Okay, I guess we'll be following Stuart into the building next time, guys. Thank you for joining me in this slightly glitchy episode of Murdered Soul Suspect. Next time, we'll read the clues journal and go to the fourth floor. Looking forward to it. I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.